outside again and we're looking at a 33 kV to 11 kV substation. And that is a transformer, 33 kV in and 11 kV out. And over here we've got another transformer, which is the same, 33 kV to 11 kV. The overhead wires aren't feeding the substation, they're actually uh, taking the 33 kV off to another substation similar. Now you can see the, uh, if I can zoom in on them, they're the circuit breakers. The overhead wires sailing off to another substation. It is fed from underground, I do believe. Some more circuit breakers there. Zoom in on there. That's the oil level in the transformer. That there is the circuit diagram. Zoom out. And here, is where the 33 kV comes in from underground, which is fed from a much, a much bigger substation further on down the road, which is 132 kV input, 33 kV output. And if you notice on the where the cables come up, you've got those uh, like plastic discs. Well, there to increase the uh, creepage distance from the conductor. It's actually 19,000 19, volts between one of the phases to the uh, the earth. That there looks like an earthing device for when they have to work on the overhead lines and they can safely earth it so it can't be accidentally reconnected. The 11 kV outputs from the transformer are there by the looks of it. These transformers are probably 50, 60 years old plus. And those are the, uh, the radiators for cooling the oil, which is stored in there. Just make out some cooling fans underneath and an electric motor. The 11 kV output will go to a uh, switch room, which is over by the other transformer. And then the 11 kV will be distributed along the local area, which will go to smaller substations, which will drop it down to 415 volts and 240 volts for uh, domestic and small industrial use. And I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but I can hear pretty loud 50 hertz buzz. It must be quite annoying for them new houses they've just built over there. That's why you should get used to it. Well, there you have it. 33 kV input, 11 kV output, substation.